All right, then we got another one finished. Here it is. This is the uh, Deacon Custom Five Carb Top for Earl in Virginia, and uh, you can see the top is all carved up, I guess. Um, it's got uh, Bartolini's in it with a Nordstrom preamp, three band, and it has a Paizo bridge and the ghost preamp for that. Stereo output. So in the mono mode, it's a single jack, single stereo, smart jack. So when you plug it in mono, you can blend between the two pickups, between the magnetic system and the piezos. These are the two main volumes. This is a three-way toggle. So down is all, uh, this is magnetic. In the middle is a blend. You see how bright it gets, and now this is Paizo. Bottom end is really surprising on that Paizo, man. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, here's some. Um, these Bartolinis are the quad coils. They're really uh, custom, custom wound uh, pickups that are really cool. Um, I've got them in basically simulating a humbucker. They're a hum canceling humbucker, which is a double double hum. How's that? Anyway, this is a uh, balance right in the middle. This is a pan pot right here. So we're right in the middle. These bass, mid, and treble are all at center detent. The other switch on here is a mid frequency shift. And I've got it set at 1K and 400. Um, I chose the 400 because traditionally in a mix, um, the bass and the kick drum need to to kind of be very cohesive. Typically engineers will get rid of 400 out of a kick drum because it's that boxy, the boxy kind of tone in a drum and it kind of crowds the mix if they don't, if they leave it in there. Well, it leaves a void now that it's out. So with this in there, it'll be able to punch through in that lower register and you can really make a, make a scene <laughs> as it were. This is both pickups. Up. I'm going to roll a little bass in it because it's obviously going to be really bright. That is the back. Now let's go to the front pickup. I'm going to take the bass back off. We're back to flat. center position like that if you roll up the bass roll up the treble uh, we're, we're leaving the mids at center detent you get somewhat of a scoop sound already right but you can further we're gonna go to 1k you can further extenuate that by rolling off the 1k I usually choose 800 to 1K somewhere in there for that funk scoop sound. Uh, here's what the 400 would sound like in the same scenario. To me, that's a little thin, so I, I don't use the 4K, uh, the 400 in the scooped mode. Uh, preferred for that would be, I'm going to roll everything back to center detent, and I'll leave this in the 400 position, and again, just a reminder, now I'm going to boost up just to 400. I'm going to roll it all the way up just
just see if the uh, iPad can pick up the frequency. So if you need to roll out, I mean get out. I'm going to hit the 4K, leave it all the way up, center D10 on these two, all the way up here. So 1K for me in a boost scenario is not that great. So I like the, the 1K position in the roll off for the funk scoop and the 400 position in the boost mode when you're just all fingers. Even if you're on the front pickup and you're doing old school, I'm going to go center detent with everything, roll the treble back. Uh, versatility in that deal there. Um, let's go, blend the piezo in. If we put this in the middle, now we can blend like I was telling you. So now, roll that piezo off. It's, it's bright. So if you treat, if you run out of this in stereo uh, with the um, insert cable, it's got dual mono heads on it, into a pedal like the Tone Bone Bass Bone 2 from Radio. I use the bass bone one, and it's a killer preamp, killer effects loop, and all that. Um, but the two is voiced for piezo, which is really cool. And there's a little button on the side that you can push to blend, and it'll keep both channels hot because it's a two channel preamp. I use mine as single channels because I like a fretless bass and a uh, fretted bass. When, I, when I'm playing live, I keep one channel set for each. I use a single cable and just pedal switch between the two when I pick it up. Um, with this scenario, you can plug it into both channels, into the Tone Bone Bass Bone, that's a long name, Bass Bone 2, and hit that switch that says Blend. And now, when you blend this switch here or these volumes, you're coming out two separate preamps through the same DI channel to the board. You can do that separate now. You can go dual if you want the sound man to have, you know, total control. But, um, yeah, I'll just stop right there. Really clean, man. Let me just go all, this is all piezo. Right now, basically, this ghost preamp is just buffering it and doing its thing to get you a good signal going out, but there is no EQ for this on board. That's why the tone bone would be awesome, because those the bass on the, the piezo is crazy, but so is the treble. So the treble is just really, it can get really clacky, but uh, I used it this morning in church, and man, it sounded great. I, I was playing behind a guitar player, uh, Kyle, acoustic guitar player. And one of the songs was kind of acoustic heavy and, and piano light. It was really just acoustic and some light drums and, and bass. And I played piezo only, and man, it, it really, it, it fit really good. It was a very unplugged vibe. So um, I actually am going to install one of these on mine just because it's just, it's killing me. After this morning, it was just great. Okay, well that's it. Let me um, let me do this. I've got one of those silent cables so I can unplug without popping everything. Let me lose a strap, and I'll give you guys a quick tour. I'm not looking at the uh, camera picture, which uh, kind of stinks. But anyway, that's the guy. Hopefully, it's going to get most of this. This is uh, I guess I should tell you what it is. African Zircote. Um, 
swamp ash body. That's the back. Um, I've got my uh, Ultralam light um, neck. Then I have got a zebra, finished zebra fingerwood. Fingerwood, yeah, it's a fingerwood. The fingerwood there is pretty cool. Um, matching Zircode um, headstock um, and a matching piece of zebra for the uh, what's your jigger, the truss cover. And um, this is the first one I actually lasered in the Buzz Feetin, the serial number and the Made in USA. So um, that's pretty cool. That was one of the reasons why I wanted the laser. But anyway, that's my story. Earl, it's coming to you, baby. Hold tight.